Check out this image. Did you catch the big news? It's all about Ship 29 Flight 4's hardware, and it's undergoing a major overhaul in its thermal protection system. It looks like SpaceX is doubling down on their efforts to ensure a successful return of Starship to Earth in its upcoming flight. Are they replacing the Starship's heat shield entirely? Could we be on the brink of unveiling a new design? Or perhaps something entirely unexpected is in store? Tune in to today's episode of Tech Map to uncover all the details. Flight 4's primary focus appears to be on Starship's re-entry, with Ship 29 tasked with surviving this critical phase. Perfection in the thermal protection system is paramount to ensure its success. While the loss of a few heat shield tiles on Ship 28 during Flight 3 may not have raised significant alarms for some, Ship 29's static fire test in March highlighted the urgent need for thermal protection system upgrades before Flight 4. During the test, a substantial number of heat tiles were either damaged or completely dislodged, a common occurrence due to the vibrations transferred from the pad to the vehicle, exacerbated by shockwaves bouncing off the ground. The most pronounced damage was observed around the aft section, which experiences heightened vibration compared to other areas. In flight, the challenges expand beyond the aft section, as a wide swath of the ship's hull will encounter the intense heat generated by the plasma shockwave upon re-entry. Temperatures beneath the spacecraft during this phase can soar to 2300 Fahrenheit, or 1200 and 60 degrees Celsius. To address concerns surrounding the thermal protection system, SpaceX has embarked on a revolutionary upgrade. Recent camera footage captured images of the new heat tiles on the Ship 29 nose cone, noticeably larger than their predecessors. Upon closer inspection, the area where the star brick tiles were previously situated appears to have been scraped, possibly to remove any residual material. Now the question arises, what will these new heat tiles look like? And are there any improvements improvements in the attachment method of the bricks. Let's explore some hypotheses to uncover the answers. Regarding the heat shield, it's plausible that the issue arises from the vibration causing the heat tiles to collide at their margins, leading to cracks and eventual detachment. To address this, increasing the gaps between the tiles beyond the range of vibration movement could be beneficial. This adjustment may necessitate a change in the tile's form, making them more outwardly protruded, such as pyramid shaped for example. By increasing the height of the tiles, the plasma flow could be disturbed further away from the body of the ship, potentially minimizing damage. Additionally, the increased roughness of the surface could aid in hydrodynamic optimization, similar to the rough skin of sharks. Flow simulations could be employed to calculate the optimal roughness height for enhanced aerodynamic performance. On one hand, some suggest that reducing the size of the tiles could potentially resolve the heat tile problem. This approach acknowledges the challenges posed by blast sound wave reflectivity and transferred vibrations from test and launch stands. Smaller tiles, especially over seams in the vehicle, may alleviate vibrational issues at these critical joints. Additionally, integrating transpiration cooling into the system could offer further solutions. On the other hand, there is speculation regarding the attachment pins potentially causing tile cracking under pressure. The sharpness of these pins and the compressibility of the insulation beneath the tile raise concerns. Concerns. While there is an insert within the tile body, questions arise regarding whether it provides sufficient surface area to spread the load adequately. If personal opinions amount to anything, the focus should shift towards upgrading the attachment process rather than the tiles themselves, as they appear to be structurally sound. Addressing issues with the attachment mechanism could potentially offer a more effective solution to the challenges faced with the thermal protection system. Based on observations from individuals collecting the heat shield remnants on the beach after Flight 3, many of them were found to be fully intact. The use of three fastener pins to secure each tile to the orbiter provides a robust attachment mechanism. These pins, welded to the orbiter's skin, are designed to withstand significant stress and are unlikely to break off easily. Despite initial suspicions that the attachment point of the pin to the tile may be the weak point, further examination reveals otherwise. Upon inspecting the back of intact tiles, the anchors are found to be neatly in place with no signs of damage. This suggests that the failure mechanism may not be attributed to the pins or anchors themselves. Instead, the cause of tile fracture or anchor detachment under load remains elusive and 
requires deeper investigation to identify and address the underlying issue effectively. The intact state of the bricks contradicts the notion that they were fragile and would have shattered under the vibrations of launch or aerodynamic loading. Similarly, the fact that the dowel pins are not found attached to the tiles suggests that they did not fall out of the skin as would be expected if the pin welds failed. Moreover, if the load were sufficient to tear the pin welds from the orbiter, it would likely have caused damage to the bricks or failure of the anchors in previous instances. The resilience of the fastener clip further complicates the issue, as it is typically challenging to remove and requires specialized tools and techniques. These observations suggest that some form of unusual vibrational mode may be at play, potentially leading to the dislodging of the fastener clip. Further investigations into the specific nature and origin of these vibrations is essential to understanding and addressing the issue effectively. The expansion and contraction of propellant tanks present significant challenges for maintaining tile attachment. When the spaceship contracts during fueling, the tiles may exert a considerable force on each other, potentially causing them to lift away from the pins. Additionally, weather factors cannot be overlooked. The installation of these tiles typically occurs during the day when sunlight heats the steel body of the ship and everything expands, including the dark painted heat absorbing tiles. However, at night, the steel skin contracts more than the tiles which retain heat for longer periods. This temperature differential could result in the warping of the steel skin and strong pulling forces from the tiles, possibly loosening them from the connectors during prolonged exposure on the pad. These factors highlight the complex interplay of thermodynamics and mechanical forces that must be considered when addressing tile attachment issues. Developing solutions to mitigate the impact of expansion and contraction on tile integrity will be crucial for ensuring the success of future missions. The temperature difference between the top and base of the ship, exacerbated by its considerable height, could indeed contribute to warping issues. Consequently, the loosening of tiles may occur while the ship is stationed on the pad, even during the construction phase. As the ship undergoes assembly and preparation, many tiles might simply rest on each other without being securely connected to the ship's surface. This scenario presents a concerning possibility wherein a significant number of tiles may not be properly attached by the time of launch. Addressing this challenge will require meticulous attention to detail during the construction and installation processes, ensuring that all tiles are securely affixed to the ship to withstand the rigors of launch and flight. Efforts to optimize tile management, tile attachment methods, and mitigate the effects of temperature differentials will be essential to enhance the overall integrity and reliability of the thermal protection system. If the incident involving the fall of the heat shield during Starship's test flight was unintended by SpaceX, it has inadvertently become a blessing for collectors and space enthusiasts. The charcoal black hexagonal ceramic heat shielding tiles are integral to SpaceX's technology, crucial for enabling the Starship spacecraft to withstand the extreme temperatures encountered during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Now, these tiles have transcended their role as mere components of spacecraft technology. They have become objects of scientific interest and aspiration for collectors and space fans alike. This unexpected turn of events has elevated the significance of these tiles, adding a new dimension to their value and appeal beyond their original engineering purpose. After Flight 3, the heat shield tiles that separated from Starship were discovered and found their way onto eBay, where they fetched prices in the thousands of dollars. The pursuit and sale of these Starbrick collectors have emerged as a lucrative new niche in the secondary market for unique souvenirs, offering enthusiasts the opportunity to own a piece of one of mankind's most ambitious spacecraft endeavors. Numerous enthusiasts have embarked on searches along the beaches of the southern United States and Mexico, uncovering valuable artifacts in the process. Renowned relic hunter Ron Parker, for instance, has already amassed an impressive collection of 120 tiles near SpaceX's test center in Boca Chica. Others continue to unearth separated fragments from Starship dating back to its first failed launch attempt last year. Owners of these prized artifacts have opted to capitalize on their finds by listing them for sale on platforms like eBay and other online sites, with prices ranging from $30 to over $2,000. Tiles in well-preserved condition command even higher prices, with some fetching as much as $7,500. This burgeoning market underscores the enduring fascination and value associated with space exploration endeavors. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. If you want to explore more aspects of the world's most powerful rockets and the 
world of rockets in general, here is a selection of deeper dive videos for you. Otherwise, thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time.